So, okay, because we gotta do a little national stuff first and then we're gonna get into all the stuff that we have. So the first thing I wanna talk about is this. I know y'all know that recently Donald Trump had an issue where a general was killed way in Iran, one of their generals. And over here, we are, I don't know if y'all been on Instagram lately, y'all been seeing y'all timelines, but you have been seeing, I have been seeing anyway, a lot of these funny, funny memes about the war and World War III and stuff that's going on. And so I just want to bring attention right to that topic because it is a, it's, it's tea, but it's a, something that's very serious. Because what this actually means is that some of our sons, some of our daughters are about to be deployed over there. And so while we're sitting out watching these memes and, and laughing, because some of them are funny, we gotta also be mindful that by the whim, somebody gonna, somebody gonna be sent over there and somebody might not come back. Now we pray that they do, and we pray that everything happens. But the, 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 the mindset of this is this. Donald Trump is in office because of one thing, in my opinion, and one thing only. And that is the fact that one of us didn't vote to cancel out one of their votes. Everybody was sitting out, I was in prison, but everybody was sitting out thinking, oh, well, Hillary got this. We ain't got to worry. This one time I ain't got to listen to Graham and them talk about, uh huh, let's go to the polls and worry about seeing to get another fifty dollar check for bringing everybody back and forth. We thinking that, and so we were got laxed. So, so that's what I want us to do is be mindful of the next time that this comes up, which is very shortly, that we got to get up, get out there, and do something. Because what happens is, I know it's funny and it's hilarious, some of the memes that we're seeing, but it does bring attention to the fact that somebody's child is actually about to be sent over there and somebody's child might not come back. Um, they talk about maybe doing a draft because our military isn't as strong as some of the allies of our reign. You know, they said that. So um, I don't know, and, and I'm not a military strategist, but I know one thing, um, they have drafted four times in this country and when you go, you gotta go or, or you go to jail. So some kind of way they're gonna get you and put you in something that may not have anything to do with us. So this is be, be mindful who we put in office because your vote does matter and your vote does, does count. I wanted to talk about this too because this was brought up actually on one of the lives before as far as somebody saying it don't matter and it don't count. Oh, I ain't gonna vote, it don't matter. No, it does, it actually does. Because even if you think your vote does account, what it does is cancel out one of their votes. And so, you know, so now you can, now, you can say that. So that's that's the first thing I want to talk about, and I'm I'm glad. What y'all think about that? Y'all think what y'all y'all is you concerned about that? Is that a worry for anybody that their child or her? I see her in the back. You too. That or your niece, nephew, cousin, or somebody maybe deployed or made something. A lot of people are in the military reserves, things like that. So this is something that's very very serious, and I hope that we be mindful when next time we go to the polls. So Miss Lizzo is now being attacked because of some of these things that we see. As far as her, they're, they're saying that she is a little too heavy to be doing some of these things that she's doing this, and, and to portray herself in some of those ways. What y'all think about that? I'm gonna tell y'all my opinion on this and it might not agree with everybody. It's not, it's, it's, people are saying that they should leave her alone. She's been attacked on, I mean, Twitter tell her pieces. Um, not so much as Instagram, I haven't been seen, but Twitter is eating her alive. A lot of the bloggers on YouTube are definitely saying that this is something that she should definitely take into consideration um, as far as how she portrays. Now, I'm a person that lives in my truth, and I'm a person that believes that you should always live in your truth. Truth is like, like nothing defeats you when you have truth. You, your enemies are defeated. Every, you are undefeated with truth. And if you live in it, that's what it is. And I think, in a sense, she's living in her truth. But, on the other note, this is what I'm going to say. Are we promoting to this generation that it's okay to be this way. Now I can say on the other side, as a big person myself, <laughs> who don't miss a meal, ain't miss none since 22. I haven't missed one since 1920, let alone 2020. But um <laughs> make that 1820. Who got their phone on? Oh girl. Next time. <laughs> so um so as, as a person who, has a, who, ain't, who hasn't missed a meal, ain't gonna miss a meal, and plans on missing a meal, and actually as soon as we do the first intermission, going back there and get some of that catering. Um, I can say that, this, that sometimes weight is an issue that we deal with internally, and sometimes it feels, we do feel powerless sometimes. 
We do feel helpless. And so it comes into accepting who we are and this is what it is. But I can say this, that obesity, especially in children, is one of the leading causes, the leading causes, and I'm not preaching, but I'm just letting y'all know because we're gonna get to some foolishness in a minute, but it's one of the leading causes of uh, diabetes, hypertension, stroke, cancer, heart disease. So I don't know if it's okay. So in a sense of it's okay to be who you are and do you what you want, but when you have a platform as hers, which reaches millions of people, especially children, especially at this age, and you're saying it's okay to be this way, yeah, it's okay to be this way if that's who you are. And if this is something, but is, is it okay to say, okay, I'm going to invite the plethora of disease and the plethora of health complication that comes with weight? Um, so, I mean, so it, it came to me when I started, and, and they wanted me to talk about this, especially being somebody big with a platform, and not big as big as the platform, big, but big as big in the platform. Um, <laughs> Because this wasn't my thing. I was not touching this issue at all, girl. I was like, I, look, I'll pass on this. But I'm going to go ahead and address it. Yeah, I'm big, but I want to be skinny. Like everybody else, I want to. And, and, and not just because, um, you know, it would be nice to see my penis once in a while. But, it's, uh, but because... <laughs> Because you know, I'm, they, they say that I'm, um, I'm. They say I'm one zebra cake from a diabetes. I'm one honey bun from my blood pressure going. You know, so I, and so, so it bothers me for me to tell people, look, it's okay to not address issues of your health, especially even when weight is the number one cause that they're saying for the, all these other complications. So I think even with her. I think if she does, so my thing is, yeah, be who you are, you big sexy, and that's what it is. I mean, it was hot girl summer, but it's definitely fat girl fall. And so, <laughs> sister, if that's what you wanna do, you go ahead and do it, and I applaud you. But I also think that she should utilize her platform to say, hey, on the other spectrum is, these are some of the things that can come from just being okay with how much I weigh. And because because what happens is, I mean, and they had another girl, I don't know if we could put it up, we'll try, um, but, and we should have had it for this, but they, they had another girl that was like, this big girl, she went viral too, this big girl, like, I'm just good, I'm big, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, and it's gonna be good, and we all loving it, we all like it, and we all reposting it, and we all sharing it, until she died of a heart attack, or congestive heart failure or something, and that's, and, and, and now we, and now we like, oh, well, child, no. Well, no, so in the case of me, it's something we, I need to address, and I think it's something that she should address with the people that do follow her as far as what it is. Now the fat shaming part about her and everything like that, I think that's, I, I just think that's outrageous and I wish the people do leave her alone on that case. Cause she does make good music. Um, she actually, you know, just a little plug here, let me go ahead and plug something right quick. She actually reposted a, a mix that I did of her um, and her company actually um, hit me up and got the separations for the mix. I don't know what they do did with it. I don't know if they release it as an unofficial remix or something like that. Hey y'all did see on Saturday Night Live she was shaking that thing to the beat. Huh? Y'all ain't see that? Y'all watch that? Y'all ain't see that? Go to her page, it's all that's cute. Um she's shaking girl. She trying. I mean she got a lot of back shaking but she uh she trying. Whew, child, so that was that. <laughs> so our next thing. Whew. January first. Who was outside who was outside on the on the first? Anybody was outside? Nobody was outside? I know y'all was outside. I saw y'all. <laughs> so anyway, so New Year's I went to live, to Club Live. <laughs> and so, how many of y'all know KT? <laughs> oh girl. So let me tell you what she, I mean he did. No, I said it right the first time. Uh, <laughs> now look, that's why we have to do it this way, because one thing about it and two things for sure, I will be shady. I just want y'all to know, as we do this, the shade will be it would be shit, it would be palm tree. Y'all could, could change this up from a dress the mess to palm tree because there's gonna be some shit. So, um, so KT was, went to live. I actually saw him when I was on my way out, but I saw him go in by himself. Now, I didn't know what was going on, but guess what? <laughs> we, let, me, let me play this and see what happens. That's him in the green. So this is the after effects. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. He couldn't even stand up, little girl. <laughs> Did you hear the background? Say somebody eight times stomped him. Stomped him. <laughs> That's how you start off the new year. Eight times, eight times stomped. So okay, so what happened was, 
apparently, allegedly, I gotta say this a lot too, allegedly, his cousin met up with him and told him, and he would go holler at his cousin or whatever, trying to talk to him. And so his cousin, who's a, a male, was like, you ain't part of the family, you ain't part of this family, why you do this, you did that, you messed up with the boys, you got all us looking bad and all this foolish like that. So KT got real disrespectful. And so his cousin, Z, his cousin Z, right there in there, right at Club Live. Now I didn't witness it, and I've been looking for a video, but this is the after effects of it. Now I don't know how they can stop this from being viral, but I went ahead and got the actual footage of the after effects of him, and he couldn't even stand up. Now, this is my opinion about this. As y'all know, I don't too much care for KT, but I don't think nobody should get to you like that on New Year's, especially by their cousin, especially in front of everybody. So this was a big thing. And so um, I actually saw KT after, after the thing, and he looks to be okay. He didn't get like actually hospitalized or anything from this, but there was a situation where he actually got Z at live, and I just was like, oh my God, what was going on? But that's what happened. That's how he started off his new year. How y'all start off his new year? I guess his new year's resolution busted. <laughs> Now, a number of them could come to mind about what his New Year's resolution should be. So his cousin was the one that was kicking them. Talk on the so he kicked yeah. them out of the family. You say that on the mic, I didn't hear what you said. The mic not working. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Ralph. But um, his cousin was just really kicked them out of the family now. Apparently so. That's what they, so when they say cousin's twice removed. Right. That's what he was talking about. I finally get because I never understood that anyway. So now I need to remove a couple of my cousins to be honest with you. you hear me? Ooh. So let's see. What's the next? One? Now y'all know I ain't want to talk about this. <laughs> yes, and I'm lying my ass. <laughs> girl, you know, girl, you don't want to talk about this. So this video went viral as well. <laughs> um. This happened this week as well. Now, as y'all can see who that is, y'all know who that is? Your best friend. My best friend, I'm trying. So they say. <laughs> so that's Buck and Ro. Is he masturbating right now? Is that, what is he doing right now? So, okay, so this video is gone viral. What? No, girl. I know you No, girl. Let me play it again. <laughs> Since you think I'm lying. So I think he, look how he masturbating right there. You see that hand movement? Okay, what's going on? So apparently, <laughs> so Ro posted this, and he's as Ro. So Ro posted this. Now neither one of them I did have my people reach out for comment to both of them, and I both have no comment. So allegedly, allegedly, somebody said. So allegedly, what's going around is they saying that this is Buck tossing her salad. <laughs> So my, now me looking into it, like looking at it, looking at it, and then somebody who's had my talent said it tells quite a few times. <laughs> um, Y'all ain't hear that book. I don't think that's what's happening here. Something else is going on. But, so this is what happened. Apparently, allegedly, that part where he was at is a tattoo of Fred name. My sister, <laughs> my sister, <laughs> there is many places on somebody that you could be licking. <laughs> but uh, so apparently, right there, he's supposed to be, that's where Fred's name is. Now once Ro posted this, Fred actually called her and was like, oh, <laughs> what y'all got going on? But posted the screenshots of that, of course. So that's what, so this is a, a big thing and this has gone viral. And this is reuniting the rivalry and the foolishness and the fuckery that goes on between Buck and Fred. So much so that y'all saw what happened today? Yeah. Let's get into it. Oh, there you go. We got extra food. We got extra. It's supposed to be sour with this. Oh, there you go. Android. It's 
Talk about rope. So it's wet, I have to go dry it. And then he pulled off with the car with my sister clothes and my youngest daughter clothes in the car, bro. Now, mind you, bro, this shit ain't got nothing to do with me. But I'm in it because of my kids, and then it's my grandma's funeral in a couple of hours. Now I'm up trying to figure out how I'm gonna make this work. Cause this nigga got the girl caught with the clothes in it, bro. This is crazy. <laughs> All right. All right, so allegedly, Ro actually went back <laughs> dealing with Ray. They all need one big house together. Okay, <laughs> I said that to myself. She said that they all need one big house together. You think Trillet would be invited to the house? Yes. You think Peaches would? <laughs> 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 Have you ever heard it from me, girl? <laughs> so, um, allegedly, Ro and the kids, Ro was dropping off the kids and the clothes for the funeral. If y'all didn't know, um, Buck Grandma died, uh, and they had the funeral today. And so, Ro was dropping off the kids and the clothes to Buck to give for the, for the funeral. And apparently, allegedly, Fred got mad, threw water on the clothes, and stole Roka. <laughs> now I know the Bible say prayer is work for everything, but I just don't know. I don't know if I don't know if Jesus really was thinking about these people when this was happening. But I mean, so this saga between Rome, Buck, Trelly, Fred has been going on. Since, I mean, <laughs> since, since, since Gloria Gaynor sung I Will Survive. And it's still going on today as we speak. And it's just like new chapters and new chapters. And I think the, so the, so the part about this is, is what I want to bring up. Is like, when does this end? When does this stop? Who, who has to have what for this to just be over? Over. Who has to have what for this just to be over? Who has to see? Who has to, like, I mean, because apparently, look. In the case of in the case of Buck and, and Fred, they're not listen. One one afraid and the other one glad he did the other one afraid. As far as they're really bopping each other. Um, as far as uh, Trelly, I think Trey, and all, all the people, I think Trelly is probably the one that really wants to just be like, look, I don't want to get away from all this foolishness. This foolishness is not productive. We're not making money. We're not doing nothing. All we're doing is making it hard for our children that we all now because the children are family. The children are brother and sister to each other in some way. Every last one of them. Yeah, because I mean, you, like you were to do their family tree, child. <laughs> what, that's a cypress, a moth or something? <laughs> that's like evergreen. I don't know, so it's like, they all related in some way, so the children have to actually grow up together. And so I don't know if somebody's actually thinking about the dad thing. What you gonna say, baby? Well, I mean, New Orleans is kind of small. They're going to grow up together. Like, you know, I mean, it's, it's hard for me to conceive a situation where five years from now, and, or ten years from now maybe, when the children are, are teenagers, when they grow up and they not have some type of, okay, you know that's who that is. I mean, we, we, New Orleans is not that, New Orleans is a, a town that's small. So this see for us, and, and what we talk about with it, is something that this is our news. This is what's actually locally happening. And so the case about it is, this is going to be on the internet forever. This is never gonna be a situation where this goes anyway. The foolishness and, and the stuff that's going on between this, these people is, 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 is forever gonna be in the echelon of all. Watch this, let me show you something. How many of us remember when um, Chicky Black and Miss T was beefing? Mm -hmm. Chicky Black and Miss T was beefing. Okay. So, I mean, that was, what, 20 years ago? How many, how many, huh? Who? It's the, they, they, they cool now, I think. But um, I like both of them. But the thing I'm trying to say is that this is in that, and they did that in the age when there was no social media, there was no Twitter, there was no Instagram, there was no thing. Instagram archive everything you do. Facebook spending billions of dollars to put your memory. Facebook told me, reminded me something I did three years ago. 
<laughs> like, I mean, just the other day. Oh, this is your memory. So things, these things are going to be forever. YouTube is, for, these things are going to be, so this is the age that their children are growing up in. So this is going to be something that's going to be talked about for a long time. This, I think in some way, maybe negative or positive, depending on how you look at it, can affect the children. And I think that's the point that nobody's really looking at right here. When they're making the decisions. Now, I understand in the case of Fred, in the case of, uh, I was about to say Buck was an entertainer, but I'm gonna say in the case of Fred, he's an entertainer. Buck, I'm not really sure. Oh girl, that was shady. Let me see how another minute said it. Um, girl, I'm trying to say something good about this man. I'm sorry to this man. <laughs> Do it. Bisha's a funny character. So, um, so, um, so this is this can affect the kids from years to come. So, I mean, I think that's the thing that nobody's looking at. So, I mean, I mean, that's, I mean, that's 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 what happened right there. Let's talk about our next. We'll get another little sip, girl. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, our friend. All my besties got something going on. So as y'all know, <laughs> this is a person that needs no introduction. <laughs> this is probably the most famous maven in New Orleans, Super Saiyan. She made headlines recently for selling $1.3 million worth of her cosmetic line on Cyber Monday. And so shout out to her and congratulations to her for making, um, to, for making a fundamental thing for people to, to, to have and the makeup and stuff like that and stuff that's going on. So um, shout out to her for that. But... <laughs> so this is some exclusive hot tea, y'all. I'm about to... Do y'all remember this picture that I took? Wow. Y'all remember that? Y'all follow me? Do y'all follow me on Instagram? <laughs> so that picture, I don't know if you can see that thing, but it says August 27th of 2019. The place that I took that picture was the Louisiana Department of Revenue. That is the place that you get all your state taxes and stuff that you have to file, including your business taxes. You like any business that's doing business in Louisiana has to file a report every year about what's going on and they have to pay taxes on sales and things that they make. Every business. And keeping the crayon case. <laughs> oh, it's some tea. Let's see if we can blow it up. <laughs> so this is from the Secretary of State's office. Now every year a, a business is required to put in an annual report that tells the status of the business and what's going on with the business if all the directors are still the same and everything. And the, and the fee for this is $25. Uh, I know because I'm nosy, but um, <laughs> I asked, bitch. So as you can see, annual report status, not in good standing for failure to file annual report. Now this is Super Saiyan Company, the Crayon case, for failure to file a $25 report. You made a million dollars, that's what I'm suing holding LLC. Now when I first started looking up information about this company, because okay, I, I sued the company, so I wanted to find out where the money was, it was. And so when I first, I mean I won't sue who got the money, girl. So I wanted to find out, I wanted to find out what was going, like who, where is this money? And so her, her corporation is set up like this. The Crayon case itself is not actually a company, but it's a company, it's a trademark that's owned by Wazam Super LLC, which is fully owned by this company in which Raynell Stewart is the CEO. So that's what, it's, that's what it's saying. But as of today, still, this company has not filed its annual report. Now you made a million dollars twice and have a fine on your annual report. Why would someone do that? I mean, it's just $25. Sure, certainly, you would have your accountant or somebody just go pay the $25 so I, my corporation could be in good standing, right? Well, you know, I had to think of that and see what's going on. So I do not have information on the 2019 version of her sale. 
that she said she made one point three million dollars. This was this was reported on BET and everything. But last year she said she made one million dollars in ninety minutes. Um, and they even have articles about this as far as uh, praising her business savvy and and her her branding and her marketability. So and so according to this and this article that she made $1 million in 90 minutes on November 27th of 2018. So in 2018, she made her, the first million in the 90 minutes um, on the Black Friday sale. Now, on your 2018 tax returns, you filed them in 2019. The Louisiana Department of Revenue, their year starts in July and ends in June. So you know what I got, right? I created out those 2018 state tax returns. No. Yeah. So, if she made a million dollars in 2018, she would have to pay taxes on that million dollars and file it with the, with the that's what the report she would have to file. So I got the entire tax return. And what I found, sister, was shocking. Let's get into it. So this is the tax return. Can y'all see it good? Now, for, the, for those of y'all that's gonna be watching on YouTube in a, the subsequent time, it'll be, the links will be in the bio. Uh, the links will be in the comment section on the, on the YouTube. But this is it. Some stuff I had to block out because of alleg alleged reasons, some personal stuff, as well as some of uh, her personal tax ID information and stuff like that. But this is the main part about this that I found so interesting. So her tax return shows that she had gross sales of tangible personal property in the amount of 109,400, let me see if I can push this over a little bit so you can see. I want y'all to see. This is a certified copy of her tax return from the Louisiana Department of Revenue for the 2018 year, understand you. This is not for the year of 2019, this is for the 2018 year. So of the 2018 year, which she said she made a million dollars in 90 minutes, she only filed for $109,451 for the whole year. So one of two things are happening here. Either somebody committed tax fraud or she was lying about the sale. Now, why would somebody commit tax fraud, first of all? I would think and hope to believe my good homegirl would learn from MC Shaky and don't be playing with the IRS. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if she is doing this tax fraud in order not to pay a lot of taxes, I hope that's the, I hope that's the case. I hope she would learn from me and say, well, listen, the feds, the, 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 the money you're trying to save from them, they're going to find it. They print the money. They don't care about it. They're going to get you. That's what it is. But she alleges on her certified tax return that she only sold $109,451 worth of stuff. This is the next part about it that I found so much interesting. The next part says cost of tangible personal property. So in the case of her company, she says she spent $130,000. So not only did she not sell the million, she actually is saying she lost $21,513 the whole year. <laughs> so she ended up paying, actually, in the 2018 year, $627 worth of taxes. That's what it is, girl, hold on. We're gonna get into it. Girl, you know I got overseas, girl, come on. <laughs> oh, no. Let's bring this up. Now this is the this is the second page of the tax return. So at first I thought, well maybe this is just for the state of Louisiana. Maybe this is not including her sales all in, in Canada and Los Angeles and all these different places. Now because 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 this can't be right. I know our homegirl out the super state would lie to us like this. She wouldn't just go ahead and tell us a big a big false falsity to our face. She wouldn't play in our face like that. <laughs> You need to have a show with her. <laughs> Girl, she with Walter. <laughs> um, but guess what? Guess what? What? That's wrong. According to this document, which is the second page of her, the tax return, which actually bears her signature. 
<laughs> the sales from interstate, which is from another state that she shipped out, was $94,000 of the $100,000. So she's saying only in-state, she sold $15,000 worth of merchandise. <laughs> Clarity is a motherfucker. I swear to God. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. <laughs> now y'all give this tea before anybody. Don't tell nobody. It's a between the between the between the <laughs> So basically, let me pull up this PowerPoint back. <laughs> so basically, so okay, why would somebody lie? Why would somebody let's let's address? Why would somebody? Why would our homegirl sit down there and tell us? Girl, I sold a million dollars, <laughs> and you sold a hundred thousand dollars through the whole year. Cause I know you wouldn't be lying to the IRS. I hope not. I hope you ain't that crazy. So, um, let me take a listen to Greta. He got out. You have to pull me a couple of more. <laughs> so, uh, so ooh, it's heavy, girl. So, um, I was just so I mean, we we found out. And I spoke to somebody there, and this is common, though, you know, for businesses to report a little under and, and, and take a little loss. This is what I'm understanding is common. But they're saying that the losses business usually take, that they're showing, it'd be, it be like a little something, a little few thousand here, a little few thousand there. We all do it. I don't carry my auntie, cutting germ, and all them. We all did a little something. Ain't no, there's no tea. But when you make a big old whole jump, this is literally 10 times the amount. And not only that, you are saying that, because I'm trying to say, she can't be lying to us, she has to be lying to them. But what I'm coming down to, as it kind of, I'm trying to make it make sense, and the only thing I come to is she's lying to us. She's lying to us. Because once she says she made a million dollars in 90 seconds, that is a newsworthy, noteworthy thing, and is a, a, the value and free promotion for news outlets such as the BTs and the Essence magazines that pick it up is it, it, tremendous. There's so many people that picked that up and, and, and said that congratulations. So it makes people go and see, well, what's going on here? Oh, what she said? What is this? What they, everybody's getting this evidently. And so this has been, and people, and people give her a, uh, they, they really give her her kudos for being a marketing genius. And so with, with the only thing that actually makes sense is that her publicizing that she sold a million dollars in 90 minutes was not actual factual, but was a marketing plan to say, okay, I got something going on here. And so then we come into the point of, <laughs> is that right? To sell a million dollars worth of $2 makeup. Oh my God. So like I was saying, it's like, oh my God, are, we, are you really, is you really like, is you really doing this right now to us? Is you lying to our face? So with that being said, we're going to go into our next segment. We're going to take a little five minute intermission. And um, go for it like that. Thank you. This is what we did with you though, it's not that you choose. You have to enjoy what's up, man. I don't know where you were when I Y'all going to be trying something. It won't be too much. I'm so sorry. But thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. It's funny. We haven't fun. We're chilling. Girl. Y'all tripping. Y'all won't stand up and do a little clap. Okay, we sipping. Exactly. Well, I got the other mics right here. Huh? Turn it on. Oh, 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 my bad. I don't know what's going on. Okay. So, so, uh, all right. So, our next guest needs no introduction. New Orleans is the host of a hundred million different characters, a hundred million different people, a hundred million different ideas, a hundred million different personalities. I'm like 75 million of those hundred million. But here's somebody who is all that, who's another person that I would like to bring to the stage, the one, the only, Key Carroll! Yeah. Welcome to Address the Best with Shaky. I'm so glad that you decided to come to our show today. This, y'all, if y'all don't know, you are the man in New Orleans right now. What? Yeah. You have been voted and ranked by a lot of people as the number one live in New Orleans, and the number one person, I mean, that's bringing all the tea and bringing everything in New Orleans. What you gotta say about that? How you, how are you, this, this, this is something that you saw for yourself, or you just wanted to? Um, no, it's nothing I've seen for myself. It's just, these people live some crazy lives. <laughs> and I mean, their lives that are entertaining. So things that they try to do and slide to the left, 
I make sure everybody know about it before they try to get rid of it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah. So what? So so this is just something that you just kind of jumped into as far as what you do. What do you do predominantly? Is that something that like what do you do as far as just your everydays? Because that's obviously not your everyday. What is it that you do every day? Um, actually, I work. I work two full time jobs every day. Um, there's only 24 hours in a day and 19, 200 miles I'm working. Right. So um, when I do have time in between jobs or on my job. You know, I do what I can do. You do what you do. do. I, we love it. We love it, and we love you. What is it that you're seeing? That so? Do you find? So are you entertained by this? Are you entertained? Do you sit down and be like, wow? Yeah, I'm very entertained by it. Um, it's just it's amazing that on every given day these people are going through something, and this is not just the you no know, regular stuff that's going on. These people go through some stuff. <laughs> I mean, you know, these people are going through. They 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 raping and they dropping <laughs> pussies on heads and it's a lot it's a lot you know they being stuffed in closets you know and, and it, it's just a lot it's a lot. How you feel it fit in for you though? How, like are you like you, so do you like and when it come to, when it come to Key Cara you looking at him because you do have you have your own little thing stuff going on sometimes too. Yeah, I do. I do. We all know about you know sometimes the D banger, D money, the F fiasco. You introduce him to us in the way. In, oh well, yeah, I don't have nothing to do with those people. Those people, you know, those people are um. Steve and Murder. Murder and Steve Urkel. Murder Urkel. I don't talk about them people. You know, those people live out of their cars, they don't have no power stair pumps in their car. They one way. They can't make no turns, they one way. I stay out the way of them people. Those people are crazy. Yeah. We love it. <laughs> but, well, Kiki, has it uh, surprised you? People, because people know who you are. Like, I mean, even if it, because Instagram, people know who you were before. But Instagram is a whole different thing. You got people, you got some people here from Baton Rouge and all kinds of different other places that may not have known who you were before, but know who you are now. Is it that something? Is that surprising to you when you go places and stuff? Yeah, um, I get DMs all day, all day, every day. You know, I get DMs from people from New York. One lady just DM me this morning, say that she's from California dealing with cancer, and I make her days go by fast, make her days better. So me talking about these people who got a lot going on is helping her. Well, shit, I'm gonna keep pushing. Oh, what's the, so what's next? What's next for Key Carol? What's the, what do we? Cause you hosted, uh, what's his name club? Do you host it at what? Yeah, what I'm hosting Buck Club tonight. Oh, tonight? Oh, so you going there after this? Yeah. Uh, am I? Am I? <laughs> 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 so um, so this, so you you do hosting and you do stuff like that, and it's a, it's a first of all, it's a pleasure. I'm very proud of your success. So I definitely ask you, and I thank you for coming on to the show. But I'm gonna need your help because our next guest is somebody. I need your help digging and getting that tea. Yeah, because you you slipped this in on me. <laughs> but I but I couldn't I really couldn't have it without you. And I and I, I say I say to myself, who else would make this just the next level? And I had to call you. I'm glad that you came. And so if without further ado, I want to help. Key Carroll, welcome our next guest. Y'all know him as Flip Gotti. I know him as Flip Say Fred. Put the girls to bed. The girls to bed. How y'all doing, everybody? What's going on? She who's good on camera. How y'all doing tonight? How y'all feeling? <laughs> All right, there. See you that there. Welcome to Address the Mess with Shaking. And we also have Key Carroll joining us to help me address the mess. Flip Gotti. The, one of the most notorious names in New Orleans right now. It was my pleasure to watch you grow up as a, a, a youngster going into the rap game and then coming into the producer game and stuff like that. Did you see some of the stuff that you have accomplished as far as your career from where you are now? Not at all, man. I was just like, like from me being an artist to me becoming a producer, from me becoming a DJ, like, and then my love life, you know what I'm saying? All that just is like spiral. Like once, you know what I'm saying? I, I got on that platform or whatever, and then you know, is it surprising at all as far as the amount of publicity that you do receive when you? Because you, everybody know you. Everybody know you. Everybody know all your business. Every, so when you walk, in, <laughs> oh, they don't know my business. They just men lie, women lie, flip guy they don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> and keep no. don't lie neither. Do do receipts lie? Keep them like <laughs> receipts out. Yeah, your receipts out. I'm saying I can't, you know, I can't deny that. That's why, you know, give you a time of day when you have your receipts out, you know. I, I, I want to ask the question. This is personal for me. 
and I just go, bump, to the world, bump. Is, is that really, is this, is there really a disdain that you have for that man? Uh, say that again? That you have, to, is this, is this real, like, is it real for you? Like, if you, do you really can't stand, bump, bump? I mean... That's his mistress. Oh. <laughs> what you say out there? What y'all say? I mean, like, that's a bitch. <laughs> That's a really a bitch, like, uh, like, uh, you know, I be nonchalant to certain things and shit, like, but this nigga is really a bitch, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I said that shit to his face, he, I said, I, everybody that knew him and he knew you a bitch ass nigga, I tell him that every time we talk, you was really a bitch ass nigga, you do some bitch ass shit. The thing that we need to understand though, did you text, we, and I just came across the death, did you text Ro the night she posted the infamous Sad and tossing video? Nah, not at all, because I went live on my Instagram. If you have your receipts, I text that and I say, yeah, I seen you. I see y'all cutting up on the ground. Okay. I, I don't have my phone with me right now. So you did text them? I text her after, like, oh, after the when all this was going on, you know what I'm saying? Um, I said I was asleep, but I was doing what Flip Guy to do, you feel me? So I'm nonchalant to the world. Um, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not answering the phone for nobody. So when I did pick up my phone and I see all this going on, it's a reason for that. Well, while they went place, you know what I'm saying? But as far as me, like, I'm not the type of nigga, like, I'm very attractive and I'm, I'm very flirtatious, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't nothing for me to, you know what I'm saying? Make something happen out of nothing, so. But you're very unsingle, right? I'm who? You're, you're sick, are you unsingle? I'm single. Are you single? I'm welcoming my baby boy in fees. We understand that. Congratulations, Brian. Congratulations. <laughs> That's what That's what I'm we can't wait. We can't wait. You've been waiting on that boy. You finally got him to come. That's congratulations. Got, yeah, that's what I'm waiting on. So my relationship status is like, it's on him. That's, that's what I'm waiting on. That's who I'm involved with him. AKA mingling. Ladies, y'all. <laughs> 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 um, the clothes. So tonight, today we saw a video. Um, earlier today, there was a video about clothes and water and a car being stolen. Do you know anything about this? Oh, like I said, two could play that game, and I'm always gonna come out the champion. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? You're very confident, I see. So, like, 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 as much as they try to make me look stupid, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't like how you, you know what I'm saying? Did, like, if I did what I did, how I did it, you got the clues. So why would you go on Instagram and see free drop the clues off when I drop the clues off in the water and, and for y'all to get it and y'all do what y'all did? I did that. <laughs> wow. I did that. But you got the clothes, dude. You are. Baby. So it's up to you. You go bitch about it, or you go go buy some more. Because you, you got that. Would you like? You know, like what the fuck? But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, like every day, every day is something new. Every day. We all have seen as of last week. Buckton opened up a, 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 um, a chill spot, slash bar, slash club. I got a teen club coming too. And then boom, he comes Fred the next morning, he got a teen club. <laughs> boom, we got action. When is it going to end? What is the, what is the end result? What's up, DJ Real? What's up, Fly Stop? That's Buster, what's up, baby? <laughs> Boom, we got action. What's yeah. that club coming It's just to like they're going, they're going tit for tat, you know? You know, Buck, the head. How do you win here? How do you win? How do you say, look, I won? Are you going, do you even, like, when do you, so who gonna grow up right here? I who got this baby, man. <laughs> I'm the enemy. <laughs> Are you the bad guy though? Are you really I'm not, I'm not, because I live my life, I don't even think about this person. I like I deal with like uh like your your kids are my stepkids in actuality. So like nigga, I'm a father figure to like, you know what I'm saying? To your kids or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So respect me just so I give you the respect, but you won't go on Instagram. Well the, 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 when you say respect, it goes two two ways. And it's, it's the respect that y'all have for each other is not really respect. I don't feel, and on, on your behalf, on your behalf and on his behalf, he was wrong for laying, laying the bed with your daughter on his chest and letting your daughter call him Baba. <laughs> Disrespectful. <laughs> Period. Well, my daughter didn't call him Baba. My daughter said Baba. 
same difference. She was laying on his chest. Bye. But at the end of the day, she but was But I listen, I, I can't, I can't, listen, that's what I said. At the end of the day, let me put this out there, you know what I'm saying? When my baby mama gets mad at me, she tries to, you know, go entertain him. Which I see everything that goes on, just as, you know, as well, he see everything when he got, you know what I'm saying? So, I know what I'm dealing with, and that's why I learned the game, and then what I'm dealing with, that's why I always see I'm, I'm undefeated at that, like, I'm not tripping. Well, I don't see, I don't see, I don't see neither one of y'all undefeated, to be honest. I mean, I mean, like, okay, bang. So, when you go back to, okay, the video, or whatever they get the cat, get the gas shit, or whatever they did, prior to that, my baby mama, she posted me in a bed. Now, I told my baby mama, I said, like, you know, because before she my baby mama, she my partner. Which one? Ro. I fucked with her. That's my dog. That's why y'all see me, you know, you know, with my baby mama, whatever, however the shit y'all see goes, please, cool. I'm, but she's my dog before she's my baby mama, so we have a relationship where, like, you know what I'm saying? So I could come to her and I could be like, you know, tell her certain shit, and she gonna respect it. But sure, certain shit women ain't gonna respect and certain shit ain't gonna sit well when they feelings involved. So if I tell her, oh, I got a baby coming. So I'm about to I wait on my baby, which everybody know I'm waiting on my baby boy. But she knew that. Y'all just took a picture together. You right, so, she had a big hand on drinking. Right, so no, 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 no. That was carrying the stage. Nah, my baby boy is due this week sometime. You see what I'm saying? So now, it's not about caring, it's about delivering, and I, and I have to be that for my baby mama. You see what I'm saying? So I told her that, and the next day, I guess it ain't sit well with her. You hear me? So the next day, she sent that, and like like I said, I'm not, I was out of sight, out of mind to the bullshit that happened with all them, you know? Like, y'all too, buck, you almost 50. And the rule, you, you tapping on, you know what I'm saying? Your prime time and your years. What the fuck are y'all doing in the tub? Like, that's just something that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all try to, wait, 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 wait before wait. you come down. Wait before you come down. That is something to try to clap the cat, clap back, you know what I'm saying? And what Drieger posted, you feel me? So, that's how I look at it. By everybody else, oh yeah, oh free, what well, you crying and you doing all that. Like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? I know how the game go and you know I know what it was, but... It, just like I see it in my life. Can you confirm or deny the tattoo? You say what? Can you confirm or deny the tattoo? Suppose the Ru got the tattoo, your name. Ru got my name on at times. How many times around? I mean, she got it up times. You hear me? She she have it over 15, 16 times on her. Oh, I'm wiping it. Oh, that's, 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 that's my nigga, so he know a lot about me personally, so. I mean, like, she got my name from Free to Flip God and Roll Up, Free, Free, this and that and the third. Like, it, it, it's over summer time. Like, you can't miss it. So, so y'all unison that y'all just gonna always have that mind? I mean, like I said before, my, that's my baby mama, that's my dog. Is she, somebody said she's the one. Let me save that for a minute, because on that note, this is what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna do audience questions. Y'all get up and say thank y'all for so much. All right, so if you have a question, Buster's gonna bring you around the mic. It could be a question for either Keith Carroll or it could be a question for Flip Gotti. Uh, if you ask me something, I'm gonna plead the fifth. <laughs> Cause I want y'all in my video like that. <laughs> so um, if y'all got a question, just raise your hand and we'll go over there like that. You standing up, sister, what you got? Oh, that was, oh, my bad. <laughs> Whoa. So, start with her, right there. Do you got a question? Because she just asked. You right there with the dude. That was you, huh? Who that was? That was her? Girl, where you going with that show? <laughs> Some white. <laughs> Don't be scared, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Now, y'all, y'all, let go get this. But like I said, I actually blind when I see questions. I don't read the comments. There she go right now. Somebody, she needs somebody to go first. That's what. I asked, is Rodermaine one? Hold up. Who you is and where you from? Tell us who you are. I'm Cassandra and I'm from Metairie. Okay, Metairie. And I just want to know, is Ro your main woman? Of course not. <laughs> oh. That's my baby mama. Don't let that go over your head. 
Stop playing. Stop playing in my feet. <laughs> the fuck she gonna look like, what? And she getting the what? <laughs> Come on now. Make that's, it big sense. I, keep, a, I know you take so much from that. Why y'all go back and forth, back and forth like that? I mean, we have a child involved. I mean, I'm dealing with like, I'm, like, okay, so let you, you, you finish? I mean, that's my baby mom and my daughter on the one years old. Well, that's what they say, Fred. Before Faze was even, I'm, Faze, I'm sorry. Before Faze was even brought about, you and Buck still had this going on, the baby one. This has been going on since, in your case, 2012, 14. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. 12, and, 10, been, and when you started, and when you started hitting her in 12, Buck had was screwing up since 04. So there's been going on. I mean, like once a young nigga came put that big old dick down, you hear me? It was over for him, and like you know what I'm saying, like he kept trying to like act like it's still like I understand that he had to deal with he had they had to deal with each other for the kids, but like it's over for you, brother. It's still over for him to this day, like, but, you know what I'm saying? Are you worried about the reputation that precedes you? Like, I mean, I, I am, because it it, it, it it fucks with my business, it fucks with my livelihood, it, it, like, it, like, jeopardizes that, because people, like, that don't know me, they, you know what I'm saying, tend to not want to deal with me, deal due to the fact, you know, I've just been incarcerated for two years. <laughs> you got a question. Look, we're not going to go there with this. We're not going to go there with this. I was the the incarcerated thing alone. Oh, yeah, I was incarcerated for 3,316 days. <laughs> oh, man, that was two years. <laughs> That's 4,327,516 hours. <laughs> 167,467 million. 492,312 seconds! <laughs> you talking about two weeks. You gonna go sit down? Two years. Stop playing. I'm not the type of person to go to jail. Me and jail do. We do. I'm, I'm, I'm blind to that. Charlie broke to that. Ramen noodles. <laughs> who who you are is it when you who you is it when you're from? I know you. <laughs> oh, I'm Dion. Um, and I'm from Elm Street. All right, Elm Street. About you and Minnie K. Y'all never Ooh. had a baby? Oh. I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100% 55, and I make them go crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's the answer to that question. But before me and her had a baby, I was a stepdaddy to her child, Juju, which is messing my your son. You feel me? And if you all of Elm Street, you, you know a lot about me being a father for that. So, me and her was, you know, fingers 100% my daughter. You know what I'm saying? As far as the Instagrams and the blogs and what they want, you know, their opinion really don't matter because I know the facts. So that's how I deal with it that day. But I have people, you know, all kind of people tell me shit about, you know, send me messages and burn pages, send me this and that and the third. But I know what the facts is. So as long as I know what it is and y'all see what it is, me being a father for that girl, you know, that child, nobody else. And you know what I'm saying? And Juju. So that's what it is, like, to answer your question. Yes, me and many can have a daughter, biological daughter, Fendi Frijan Palmer. Fendi Tiana Frijan Palmer, to be exact. Okay. All right. I like that. Step it up. I like that. Any questions for this time? Anything nobody, y'all ain't gonna do? Y'all want Man, y'all can ask whatever y'all want. I know Key, he here to push it, so y'all, y'all go ahead, let him push it. <laughs> let him push it. I don't want to see him click live and see, go to, go to, uh, I heard you in the back talking about the club, you got a hold tonight. Motherfuck that. <laughs> I think we should pop up. I really do. <laughs> Somebody will get popped out. And JP, they will we'll pop you in. I ain't gonna do JP. I ain't got time for JP. They don't book you to 24 hours later. They ain't got, got no bonds. The, the, the system messed up. Don't go to jail. I would do. I ain't fucking with it. <laughs> They're not gonna let us in the door. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, you too. Oh, Dino. But as far as as far as Fred in Fred's situation, I've been knowing Fred for years, for years before Fred was even DJing. And Fred has always, always, always had this kind of situation going on. Minicat was my dancer when I was doing the, the wild game. 
with the wild game situation when I was doing the bounce rapper thing. Fred would pull up before we even go to our show, wherever we had to go, and him and many of the be fighting. He done took our hair off, black in the eyes and everything. This has been going on with Fred for centuries. Now, the new Fred, Flip Gotti, look like Will don't fight back. If she do, it's, 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 it's I got mace last night. Uh, we'll see. I, I still got mace on my skin somewhere. That was still in the car? That was, what? Huh? That was for stealing the car? <laughs> yes, I, know, I got mace. Yeah, see, that's so the thing. You know, they put out there that Fred stole the car. And guess what? It was never, it will never be reported, stolen. And don't be surprised if you don't see him in Rhode tonight. <laughs> you still got the two night, two night. <laughs> Don't let that go be on heat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, play Key. So Key, wait, 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 MC Shaker. So I know you get all live every day, all day. You push the message. As soon as I come in your room, you be wet. There go the people. Who call the people? That's what you do, y'all. I know if y'all two in, you know I'm saying. So I mean, Key, tell us about you, like. Talk about well, you know what? Well, you always push out a mess. Yeah, yeah, I push the mess. Well, see, Fred, me and Fred have our little side toast. Right. And Fred, you know, he came and sometimes he don't agree with my lives. <laughs> a lot of times he don't agree with them. No. But it really don't be me at first pushing. It be the people in the comments. You see what I'm saying? And Fred, when he go live, he don't read the comments. I read the comments. <laughs> so when I read a comment, he feel like I'm pushing the mess beyond. Right. So, you know, Fred... I mean, you, I mean, you got to act trendy drunk to some of the comments. If it's a burn page, you still... Oh, they did this and that. Oh, they did this and that. Oh. Well, how do I know? Action. I don't be knowing if it's a burn page because now the burn page just come with pictures of people... We know. We know. You see I what I'm saying? That's a shaking That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but, you know, Fred just... He's, you know, Fred told me last time we talked, you know, he was upset with me. He said, because I have a powerful... Um, live. You have a powerful live. They, 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 they were saying that before I came in, you the new, um... Well, the night that the situation, that I released the situation with Buck and Trelly, I mean Buck and Ro, I go on Fred live, Fred showing my, my, um, my live. So now he, somebody was screen recording me talking and he playing it. <laughs> they say me everything. So what he's saying? They say you, they say keep messages, keep messages. What? No, I didn't know nothing about, like I said, I was... Don't flip God in business at that moment, you hear me? So when I wakes up, like it's 2.40, you know what I'm saying? I'm on, I got, I got, I don't have my other phone with me, I have one phone with me. But I can show you, been live with me, like, you know what I'm saying? When I got everything and I tuned it to live and I did what I did, like it was all like upcoming. Like, uh, like I just received that information. So when I received that information, I went to my DM and I see somebody send me that, oh, free, this and that, and the third. And I'm looking like, what the fuck? What? Because I'm on live with Woody. I'm like, what the fuck going on? Like, what the, the what? <laughs> Get the what? And, like, you know what I'm saying? That's how that shit happened. So, and when, like, I was going on your live, addressing your live, and nothing like that, but it was just that the information was coming from you, like, because you pushed it. He was on there, and, like, and then this bitch ass nigga saying, what? She, she posted that? When you done made a whole fucking thriller with y'all in the motherfucking tub and you acting truly drunk to that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you, you got to know though, uh, it's, I, it's gonna be pushed. <laughs> one, I just wanna hold you all night long. Oh, I want you She said, friend, I'm running late, huh? So I caught them legs up just to get a quick nut. Then I ate that pussy anyway, huh? I'm about to eat that. Like a what? That's why they took the legs. eat that pussy. Put them on. 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 Put
Love y'all, and I'll see y'all at the next step.